Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is Sunday, but yesterday we had our online service with God's Church of Love online. And after we had our sermon, the message, we always have chat, so we had chat as well. And the discussion started out hilarious. You're gonna love, it's almost like a blooper. We talked about some embarrassing stuff and laughed at ourselves just for a few minutes. Then we got into something very deep. And when we got into this deep subject, what we started dealing with are the types of changes and challenges that are coming our way for God's people, dealing with this sinful world that is doing everything antichrist. And I want you to hear where the discussion ended. Very, very interesting, very challenging. And it's something we must all pray about because things are getting very hairy. Listen to this. This is the natural part of my dreams. Whenever I, my body says it's potty time, I dream that I'm trying to find a restroom. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I sometimes dream also the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually, in some dreams, I go and wake up and I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm still dry. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's <laughs> like okay. Me too. I, I, I did that when I was a little girl, but it didn't end up so well. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled it in my dream, and then I woke up, and I was just like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm not on the toilet. I love it. <laughs> in my dream, I woke up, and I was like, where's the bathroom? And then I find it, and I'm like, ah. and then I woke up, and I was like, crap. I love it. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. I was like, I have. That happened to my husband one time. He was so embarrassed. I couldn't help, but I fell out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. But uh, he got over it because I was laughing so much. So that helped him not not get so deep about it. <laughs> that <was funny>. Oh, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. But anyway, okay, so with me, this was to me more of a last days type thing, dealing with the laws that have been passed recently. Well, here I am. I'm trying to clean the seat. You know how we do when we go in. And, uh, and while I'm trying to clean this, before I go in to clean the seat, I walk past the stall. Now, when I walk past the stall and I say a few things to a few of the ladies in the restroom, I notice there's a man. He looks like uh he looks like a tree trimmer, like one of them big six foot five axe, you know, guys that chop down trees, real heavy duty, um a uh, Viking style build, and uh <clears throat> He looks like he could have been a Viking or a descendant of a Viking. And he's, he's sitting on the toilet with this beard and this cap, baseball cap on his head, with a newspaper up, reading the new, looking like he's reading the newspaper. And he had kind of a smirk on his face. And I'm looking, I'm saying, wait a minute, that's a man, not even a man in drag, that's a man in the ladies' restroom. Before I went in the stall, one of the ladies I had struck up a quick conversation with while waiting, I asked her, would you please wait for me? I will be very quick until I come out. And, and she said, sure, I'll wait for you. Now, I think she misunderstood and waited outside the door because I didn't see any sight of her, didn't hear her voice anymore. And the man comes out the stall with his newspaper and he, I'm peeping to make sure he walks out of the bathroom and he does not. And he says, he looks toward my stall and he says, I know you saw me in there. 
And I didn't hear anybody else's voice, so I felt like I seemed like we were alone. He said, I know you I, I know you saw me in there. I ought to take you and string you up by your feet and hang you. So what I got from that is there may be some very bizarre crimes happening in ladies' rooms as a result of the law that allows men and women to cross to cross over into each other's mm. restrooms. Mm. So, that's interesting. So that's people, a dream drop murderer? Yeah, he could have been one of those weird uh, rapists, murderers, whatever, mm -hmm. or people who like to torture women. So mm -hmm. be very, I just say, ladies, be very careful when you walk in. Do a quick scan. Peep in the different cracks. Make sure you're not looking at a man. And if you are, wait till that man comes out of the restroom. Oh my word, wow. brother, getting, getting crazy. Because they, they have, I think they, they have allowed that in Target where they can, you can go if you feel that you are a female, that you mm -hmm. can go in the female's restaurant. What? If I'm not mistaken. I think they have to, they have allowed that. Why didn't they just make their own little bathroom for those people? I know. <laughs> What's the point of making, because all that because is to do is make men who's not like that act like they like that and then go and look at women right because that's what the enemy's plan is to he wants to destroy and if he can use his weapons and influence you that's what he wants to do that's because right. that would be too too logical to do something like that but it's just the enemy that wants to attack because if you notice yeah. on tv that's all you see now i mean you see uh this uh show they have out now called i am jazz about a, a kid i don't even think that kid is a teenager but they, he had a sex change and to me that's child abuse but there's no reason but there why would they have that on tv to influence the kids to influence and warp the minds of the the parents and the children right so that you have no boundaries so there's no boundaries i, I honestly think this is that whole this is nothing but a piece of what is to come with the new world order right I understand exactly that, yep. that's a part of the new world order because you know how they're trying to change the whole you know the order of the world how things normally are men women split you know bathroom you know right they're trying to make it all come together in some way i don't know how but they i just think they try to turn everything backwards like right uh, and everything that's are. god is being it's, is yeah. being opposed right a new world order. New right, world, exactly. World but this is the, well, we are... You look at your... No, go on, Marlene. I said, you could, we're just in a, a fight against the good and evil, and it's just what it is, and as you were saying yesterday, Armageddon, that's yeah. the final war. This is a spiritual war, and we're seeing it being played out and manifested through everything that we're seeing now. Right. It's just evil, and it's wicked, and it's diabolical, because everything... This fallen world belongs to the enemy, and he has an agenda, mm -hmm. and he's going to try to warp and throw some kind of sin or some something to cause you to stumble. Right. Because he, the demons are serious, and they know that this is the, the last day, and That's this, right. these are the last times that we're in. I just see that dream as uh, the coming, you know, class between Christians and Jews, and this movement, and it's going to happen where. Yeah, it's just getting to that point where uh, 
the gray area is getting smaller and smaller in this country. I was just thinking about that earlier before you all even called. I saw a video. I think I already told you about the transgender dude. Huge. He was huge. In a dress. <laughs> yelling at people in GameStop to call him a woman. He's like, clearly I'm a woman. I'm like, you're freaking huge. You look like Thor. But <laughs> 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 the delusion is that strong that he's like, clearly I'm a woman. No, you're not. You uh -huh. That's some demons manifesting uh, in people. People don't realize that. Is, he was You're, picking things down. He was literally like, I mean, and I felt bad for the guy who worked there because he eventually started to call him a lady. But I would have been like, you can hit me up here. <laughs> oh, like, You're, not, You're not, you are clearly on steroids. That's what you look like. Okay. <laughs> you can't put on a dress and a wig and you still are a man, dude. No woman <laughs> just a moment let me get the manager let the manager handle it and then yeah. that way that's a good idea yeah and then that way you <laughs> are not put on the spot and and if the manager says what's the problem and say my faith will not allow me to deal with this would you exactly. please go out and handle yeah. this before i act ugly and i don't want to do that and just stay wow. out of it stay out of it stay in the other room go help somebody else until yeah Anybody, anybody who has customer interaction right now, you're about to be on the front line. That's yep. all I have to say. That's your job. Then you need to start praying about it. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm serious because it's about to be in this country where we, you know, people in other countries right now, in China, India, they're on the front line. Right. When they become a Christian, they, they risk house, home, everything, comfort, life. We here, we have had this comfortable gray area where you could be a Christian and not really, it didn't really cost you anything. Right. You could have your views and it didn't really, it didn't really ruffle anybody's feathers, but it's not the case anymore. It's about to get real serious up in here. That's right. You right. need to start praying. Like, God, I'm scared. If you're scared, just admit it because it's, it's about to go down and people aren't ready. So many people are going to find themselves not knowing what to do when they got kids at home to feed and all of a sudden their your their boss is like, Well, if you don't get the chip, you have to leave. Right. And we're that close and to the new world or the strength to do what you gotta do and you you're gonna you're gonna take the mark. You're right. Call this man a woman. You gotta start praying that right now. So to crazy. Me, like have to because it's coming and it's not over the horizon. Like it's about to be on our front doorstep. 